Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 Edition. Page 352. What is alpha thalassemia? Alpha thalassemia is a form of thalassemia involving the gene mutation of the alpha globin subunit of hemoglobin. And this mutation will therefore lead to a decrease in alpha globin synthesis. The severity of the alpha thalassemia is directly proportional to the amount of alpha subunit genes that are deleted. What happens if all four alpha globin genes are deleted? If all four alpha globin genes are deleted, the fetus will not be able to live outside of the uterus and therefore the infant will die at birth with hydrox vitalis. What type of hemoglobin is going to be formed in the fetus if there is a deletion of all four alpha globin genes? In case of deletion in all four alpha globin gene, this would lead to the formation of hemoglobin BARTs because there is no alpha subunit, so they would all become gamma subunit, and therefore all four would be gamma subunit, which is called hemoglobin BARTs. What is Hydrops fatalis? Hydrops fatalis is a serious condition in which abnormal amounts of fluid builds up in two or more body areas of a fetus or newborn. What happens in case of three alpha globin gene deletion? In case of 3 alpha globin gene deletion, this would result in a condition called hemoglobin H disease. What happens in hemoglobin H disease? In hemoglobin H disease, because 3 out of 4 of the alpha globin genes are deleted, this will lead to very little alpha globin. And because of this reason, there is going to be excess in beta globin, which will lead to production of homotetramer, known as hemoglobin H. What happens in one or two alpha globin gene deletion? If one or two alpha globin genes are deleted, this would not lead to any significant problems, so there's not going to be any clinical significant anemia. One additional thing to note here is that cis deletion is prevalent in Asian population and trans deletion is prevalent in African population. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.